So this is Quack Attack. The goal of the game is to shoot as many evil red-eyed ducks as possible before your 60 second timer runs out. Don't shoot the wrong duck or the system will deduct a point. So I wanted to challenge myself and use an original Raspberry Pi 1 I had laying around. The entire project runs on the Pi using 10 of the GPIO pins. We've got 5 pins going to buttons and 5 more going to LEDs. I had some old junky arcade buttons laying around that had integrated micro switches and I never really liked them for anything else so I decided to use them on this project. One of the trickiest things about this is that the LEDs with the eyes on them had to move as the button was hit and so I had to make sure that there wasn't any kind of snagging going on behind the duck. One of the things I did on this project was to build the whole thing on a breadboard before ever trying to get it to work with a Nerf gun. And even after that I just cut out a single duck to play with before I built the big project. And then once I was sure it would work I cut out the rest of the ducks and gave them to my wife to paint. I'm not planning on doing a full breakdown of the node red flow but basically if you want to come in here and tweak some of the settings you're welcome to you can double click the game set up and right now I've got this set up for five ducks if you want to do three ducks or six ducks uh, that's totally up to you you can uh, change how long the game lasts stuff like that um, the only other things you may want to play around with are some of the pins where I have the duck set up right now uh, this is a button set up to pin three pin 5, 7, 11, all that stuff is actually documented if you go to my GitHub. Feel free to Google GitHub Another Maker and you can find my GitHub and then you can go down to the Quack Attack and in there I have some build notes and the actual Node Red code that I used. If you click on the build notes it's going to tell you what to wire to what and uh, what kind of LEDs I used and the buttons I used and all that kind of stuff. So all of that is located in the GitHub. I encourage you to think beyond just Nerf darts and ducks. Find your own way to put some kind of fun spin on this. You can use tennis balls. You can use whatever you want, but inputs, outputs, it's all the same. This is just a, a very basic way to make something like this happen on a simple Raspberry Pi and keep it all contained. So, hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, click the little bell, and let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.